Dr. Adam Oppenheim. I'm a urologist with St. Pete Urology. So the least invasive procedure that we do is ESWL or shockwave lithotripsy for the very small kidney stones. The benefits are that it's a very simple procedure that we do quite commonly. No incisions um, or manipulation is done at all. Um, the shockwaves are administered from a machine from the outside when the patient is asleep. It usually takes 20 or 30 minutes and the patient goes home soon afterwards. The, the, the drawbacks to this procedure are that it, it wouldn't be um, effective in treating large stones. The second one's called ureteroscopy with laser lithotripsy. This is for more middle range side stones or multiple stones in the kidney. This is when we use an endoscopic camera to go up into the kidney and visualize the inside of the kidney and actually use laser to fragment stones or remove them using small baskets. Uh, the recovery for that procedure, the patient that's also done in the outpatient setting. Uh, the patient is sent home after the procedure. We usually leave a ureteral stent, um, so the patient may have some symptoms from the ureteral stent. Uh, briefly after the procedure, but then we take the stent out in the office a few days later. Percutaneous nephrolithotomy. Um, the patient um, comes in. This is an inpatient procedure. Um, we use a larger size scope to go in through the patient's back. We have a radiologist help us uh, obtain access to the kidney, um, and we use a large scope um, and a special instrument to fragment the very large stones. This procedure is associated with some risk of bleeding and infection, um, and so the patient's admitted to the hospital for at least one night for monitoring.